Eight-year-old Halina Derevyanko was in her apartment in Borodanka in the Kyiv region when Russia invaded Ukraine. What she didn't know then was that she would end up staying in this apartment throughout the Russian occupation in March. There were only two of us in the whole building when Russians broke in. They vandalized everything in the basement, and then there were two explosions, and my son's friend was blown up. As Russian soldiers tried to break the building entrance door, Derevyanko remembered her neighbor's advice. If occupiers are trying to force the entry, they can later punish residents for not helping them. So she decided it would be better to open the door herself. I said, here I am, in front of you, a grey-haired mother. Do with me what you want. Russian soldiers didn't believe Derevyanko when she told them the whole building was empty. And they started breaking doors to all the other apartments. After they searched the building, the occupiers wrote the letter P for Proverino or checked on each apartment door to indicate it had been inspected. They later returned to take what they wanted from the empty apartments, Derevyanko says. The apartment owners repaired the entrance door after Borodyanka was liberated by the armed forces of Ukraine. Derevyanko's friend Valentina Yazova also returned to the town. She had stayed at a nearby village during the occupation, hoping things would be better there. We thought it would be safer there, but it was hell. Russians came to us one day and told us they were looking for Nazis and Poles. After the Russians left, Mezova found her native town Borodanka in ruins and some of her friends dead. They shot my neighbor's son dead and she buried him in the yard under shelling. Residents of the apartment building show pieces of the grenades they keep finding. But many have nothing to show. Many people in Borodanka were killed in the Russian shelling. For many, the basements of their own homes became deadly traps. Anna Kostuchenko for a VOA in Greece from Borodanka, Ukraine.